I wanted to make a spare to the way sculpture, but then I looked into those solar eyes and I realized I've seen them somewhere before. Ah yes, <laughs> there it is. So I'm doing a bit of a crossover. I'm gonna start by making the tub. I rolled out a big chunk of polymer clay and then scooped out the insides. It's supposed to be a barrel tub, so I'll draw on the lines of the planks. Cut off the top for a more even edge and go over everything with a silicone tool to make the wood grain texture. I'm gonna smooth out the clay with isopropyl alcohol and then bake it. Once cured, I'm going to stick it on another piece of clay that's supposed to be a stone slab. I added a rope that is supposed to hold everything together. The rope turned out pretty ugly though, so I ended up remaking it after this. Now for the bath occupants, I'm making Psyduck from Pokemon. The design is pretty simple, just two parts squished together with a tail, beak, and arms. I made four of these ducks, and as always, when making the same thing multiple times, one is bound to be uglier than the rest. I'm sure if anyone watching this has children, you know what I'm talking about. And this time, it's the one I'm making right now, so please be nice to him. The hair on its head is made out of cos clay, and one of the ducks also gets a towel on its head. I also need a base for the bathtub, so I'm making one with foam core. I cut out around 10mm piece and then sanded the edges. Then with a metal tool, I'm drawing in some lines to make it a wood plank base. And also adding some wood grain texture the same way. To prime the foam, I'm using flex bond with a bit of paint. Unsanded foam core doesn't like glue too much, so it crawls off at spots. But you've just gotta be persistent, and at one point it will accept its fate and give up. It's important to prime the foam so the resin doesn't melt and eat into it later. Then I'm going to paint it brown and go over it with a black wash. Can't see it too well, but I also added a lighter dry brush. I'm feeling fancy again, so I'm going to add a felt sticker to the base of the sculpture. It looks like I didn't draw anything on, and it's true. <laughs> the paper doesn't like ink for some reason, but I could still see where to cut. There's a bit of an ugly seam from the glue that's on the felt, so I'm going to carefully cover it with black paint. The bathtub gets painted in a darker brown than the floor. I also went over it with a black wash and a lighter dry brush. Painting the rope took forever, but I'm gonna make it look easy with the power of editing. This also gets a highlight in the middle. The stone slab gets painted white-ish and then dirtied up with a black wash. To make my life easier, I will prime the ugly ducklings white and then go over them with yellow. This way, it only took me 3 layers of yellow and not 10. The bee gets a light beige. 
and even though you can't see them later, so do the feet. Then some black hair and white eyes with their solace there. To make them look extra sweaty, I'm covering them in a gloss varnish. And adding UV resin on the eyeballs. I super glued them in place and used some hot glue to add the tub to the base. Then I'm pouring in epoxy resin for the bath water, but I'm leaving a bit of space that I will fill in later. And adding the leftover resin on the base. For the water effects, I will be using UV resin and tinting it slightly green. And also some clear plastic. I cut out pieces of the plastic that will be the water spilling over and added them with UV resin. I also went over them on both sides multiple times with the resin to make it look like water. Then I filled in the rest of the water that was missing in the tub. Lastly, I added more resin to the base as the water that has spilled over already. And that's it! I would like to thank my newest patrons, Noah and Dahlia, and also Stock and Minokami, who I forgot to mention previously. Of course, thank you to everyone else who supports me as well, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!